Hi guys. Today is MLK Day, so I'm doing this as a tribute to the incredible light worker Martin Luther King, and the topic is unity and oneness. There was a quote I read from him which inspired this, and it said, all life is interrelated. We are all caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one destiny affects all indirectly. That was written by MLK from a uh, jail cell. And he was an incredible light worker. And you know, that philosophy there that everything you do is impacting everyone else in this world. So if you think of, you know, the ripple in the pond is an analogy people often use. You throw the pebble in and that ripple spreads out. So imagine if there is a rainstorm and there are ripples everywhere, and that's kind of what's going on, and they're all impacting one another. One of the first meditations I ever did, I got information back. I had asked the question, you know, is there a God? And the answer I got back was, there is a God, but it's not what you think. God is everything. God is not one thing. And, you know, that really, that made sense to me. That resonated with me that, you know, we're all interrelated. We're all, you know, manifestations of the one source and we're all energetically connected and um, you know it sort of also helps understand you know the purpose of, of what you're doing here we're all working together to raise the collective consciousness and I, I kind of view it like we are a cell in a body right is the cell its own thing or is it part of the body well it's both the cell is a cell and it's also part of the body so if you think of the cell as a person and the body as, you know, the entirety of, you know, consciousness and um, the energetic realm of, of beings. And that, you know, the cell is operating within the body, performing a certain function and, and contributing to the whole. And that's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing in all this. And I think some people get confused about what the point of this life is. Or when they get here, they forget, right? You have a plan before you come here, but then you get here and you sort of can't remember what the purpose was. And I ask this question to a lot of people and most people can't answer it is what is the point of human existence? Like what is the purpose of human existence? You know, why are, why are you here living this life? And most people have never thought about it. Most people don't have an answer. And some people say, let me think about it and get back to you. And you know, sometimes they'll say family and you know, they'll say, I guess, you know, learning and other things, which are all, all good things. And it's something I think you should think about, you know, what is really your purpose here? Is it to sit on a pile of money? Is it to, you know, climb the corporate ladder? Um, and I feel like people are playing this as a zero sum game. This is not a zero sum game. This is an interrelated, connected network of beings. And if you're playing it like a zero sum game, it's time for some reevaluation of what you're doing and what you're doing in this life. And still means you can succeed and make money and all those things. That's fine. But it's about living your life with concern and respect for others. And I think the crisis we're having right now is a crisis of empathy. And that's, I feel like, the result of, um, you know, people being self-serving and not sort of taking this as a larger holistic approach on humankind. So they're just saying, you know, if I... If I don't get something, somebody else is getting it, you know? And so everyone's trying to snatch up that TV or whatever it is, and it doesn't matter if they kill someone, someone on the way on Black Friday. <laughs> you know, that's absurd to me. That is absurd. And if that's not absurd to you, you need to think about what is your purpose here and what are you trying to do? And if you're willing to trample someone to get something, you know, is that really, is that really what your purpose is here? Is that really part of how you want to live your life. And I really feel like once you start living in a way that you feel like everyone is interconnected, it makes it a lot easier to, to be friendly, to forgive, to do all these things that, you know, are good to do and will improve your life and will improve the life of the whole. Because really, and what I believe is that, you know, the purpose of this life is for love and learning and also to raise the consciousness, raise the collective consciousness. And so, you know, if we're just looking 
at ourselves and what we have and you know trying to get more than everybody else you know that's not working towards the same goal and you're really not moving it forward and you're really not creating a life based on love for yourself and contributing to the whole so I really think that if you look at everybody as as united as part of a whole you can start to see you know what the purpose is right and how we're supposed to live and it can inform your choices on a daily basis of how you're going to treat somebody if we're all interrelated you know you're driving in your car and this person cuts you off or you know tries to pull in and squeak in and you're you're mad at them or whatever no you could say oh maybe that person he's been sitting there for 10 minutes and this was his only opportunity to pull out or you know he just didn't see me or he's thinking about something else like it's not that that person wasn't intentionally trying to slight you, you know, and people always take everything as a slight. Try to be understanding, try to be loving, try to see the good in people. And that will reflect back to you as people will start seeing the good in you. And I think that that's how we, how we change. That's how we change the direction of where we're going right now. And I think there are a lot of people out there working to change this direction so I, I do feel like the, the shift is coming and it, it's already started. But be a part of it, you know. Be a part of this change where we are going to work as one, to work as a unified network of souls. Because that's what we are. And your life will improve dramatically. And everyone's lives will improve dramatically, you know. I saw, it was something about, you know, healthcare and, and a lot, of, and someone was quoting something about healthcare and, um, you know, people not getting access to it anymore or whatever. And, and someone had said, well, I can't, it's hard for me to have a conversation about healthcare because I can't explain to someone why, should, why they should care about another human being. And that I will really resonate with me is that, you know, at the, at the heart of a lot of these issues is, are you caring about the world around you? Are you caring about the people around you? Are you caring about the earth? You know, because that's all related to you. And when you start seeing it as separate, if everything else died off and that you were left, what kind of life would that be, right? We're all in this together and we all need to care about each other. And we should be taking that perspective, you know, in everything we do and the issues that come up. So honor MLK, be a light worker, show love. We're interrelated, work towards peace, work towards justice, work towards all these things and our world will be a better place and your life will be better for it.